Hey guys, Tipster here from Tim Foolery Gaming, and we are doing the first actual episode of Fantasy Star Online. Though, think about it now, I should have called it a first video since there is an episode one and two. Anyway, we did a video on Fantasy Star Online already, but that was more of a joke episode for Star Wars Month when that came around. In this one, we're actually going to create a new character and start a brand new game and try to get through episode one, maybe episode two if the series does well. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Oh, I hit online. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, let's do offline. That's what we want. Now, like I said, we're going to make a whole new character separate from the joke episode. And while I haven't really figured out the class or race or anything quite yet, yet I do have somewhat of an idea of what I want to do and it's gonna be a bit different from the joke episode now unfortunately I am running this off an emulator I will admit only because I don't have the components to actually play this game off my GameCube and the side effect of that is while this game seems to be running well on its own the cutscenes do not load properly which is unfortunate but it shouldn't impact the game itself all that much, especially for the story. So we're going to go ahead and create our new character, and I will meet you... I forgot what the name of the station was, but we'll meet you there. There we go, Human Ranger under the purple... purpledom? Never understood the section IDs, but we got purple emblem. So there we go, we're starting off as a Ranger class, which is actually very different from my usual playstyle. I normally go in either with magic, or with melee attacks, or a combination of both, so this will be sort of kind of the first time I'm going in with ranged, and I probably will use magic with it, so let's see how it goes. Are you Timster the Ranger? I'm Principal Tyrell. We have a bad situation, we need to act quickly. Did you hear about the explosion on Raggle? Very well, pay attention and listen to me. We've lost contact with Pioneer 1. We have no idea what has happened. We've sent unmanned search units, but communication seems to cut off near the surface. What happened on Raggle? What occurred on Pioneer 1? Are the people on board alive? The Council made a decision to send a manned search team. You are a skilled ranger. We need your help. We have no choice. We need a, spl we need a place to settle on. Almost nailed it, Tim. Almost! Uh, could you... No, it's nothing. Take care, and good luck. Well, that's all I need to know. And you're giving me a little too much credit. I am very far from skilled. Look how well I can walk in a straight line. By that I mean not at all. I just love this game so much. I don't know why I love this game so much. I mean, I do, but I don't. I think it's because it's so simplistic, and it's just so fun. Alright, let's see what kind of equipment they have. I think we start off with 300 Masetta, or 300 credits, 300 money, 300 gil, whichever whichever you want to call it. Unfortunately, we do not have a mu enough for much. Let's see. Yeah, even if we could sell something, it won't get us anywhere closer to what we need. But, if we can talk to the item merchant here. <laughs> yeah. On our right, it shows the MST needed, 35 out of 20. Basically, I need to get a few more levels before I can learn Barda spell, which is an ice-type spell. 85 for anti, 50 for resta, which is a restorative spell. Anti is basically Isuna in Final Fantasy terms. Foe is a fire spell, so we're closer to Barda than anything else. And we do have enough to buy plenty of HP restorative items. We probably don't need to. Look at everything we need on the planet's surface. But Something I personally like to do before we continue on to the planet itself is go right over here to the Hunter's Guild. This is where we can take part in quests and other things like that. And, of course, you get rewarded for doing the quests. So, let's get started. I don't really need battle training, but it's basic enough. Are you Timster? I'm Zid. 
asked young hunter Ash to do some research on Raggle. Wow! I just spit everywhere. Perfect. He's supposed to be done with his job by now, but he hasn't returned yet. Perhaps he got himself into some trouble. So I want to ask you to go to Raggle and res rescue him. I almost said recruit. Not by yourself. Please go with that hunter over there. First of all, can you bring him here? <laughs> I need you to go talk to that person. With the talk to that person button. Then walk all the way over here. Can you walk? It's basically a tutorial on how to play the game entirely. You know what? Let's skip this. This is boring. Here we are on the planet Raggle in the Forest One area. I just have so many fond memories of playing this area. Ooh, Tri Grinder! Nice! Okay, so too many things happened. Uh, I don't know, I just love this game because it was the first kind of, sort of kind of action RPG I really got into. Technically, that would be Kingdom Hearts being my very first one, but like, I never played a game like this until I played this. It's got a mix of sci-fi, action, adventure, RPG, all that good stuff that I love in a game, all mixed into one. The only downside is there's not much free roam, but still, you know, it's very basic, very simple, and sometimes that actually works. Here come the wild animals of Raggle. If you're close enough, a cursor shows which enemy you can attack. Don't let them surround you. And that tri, tri grinder I picked up before, it basically raises the rank of my weapon by three, and it'll increase the power and everything by a certain amount. I don't know exactly how much, I think it depends on the weapon. But Tri Grinder is perfect for later weapons, and they're pretty rare. Do should you get mono or die grinders? Enough about that though. You stole my kill! And you did it again! Okay, well, thanks. I don't need you. Let's just kill that guy. Come on. There you go. Slay the Booma. You guys might remember me calling these, uh. Oh, wow. What did I call them? Not Wookiees. Sarlacc monsters, I think. No, Sarlacc. No, that's not it. Wow, I'm drawing a blank on this monster. It's the same one Luke fought, uh, in Return of the Jedi. That big thing. Why can't I remember what they're called? I have no idea. That's what happens when I don't get enough sleep. I spend too much time editing videos late at night. Alright, come here, Wolfie. You're next. No, I got him. Kirik, I got him. I apparently don't got him. Be careful. Of what, the animals or you kill-stealing me? Alright, whatever. Uh, let's just destroy these boxes because usually, like that tri grinder, we get something good. Sometimes, anyway. Most of the time, it's just uh, either money. Other times, it's mono grinders or mono fluids. But you never know. That's the door switch. Press it. Did the door open? I don't know, Kirik. I haven't pressed it yet. Thank you. Thank you for being a patient little droid. Ugh. All right, let's just keep on moving on. We go through this door. We should encounter. Yep. A bug's nest. This guy is a bit tricky. He keeps spewing out these insect things. And the only way to really beat him is to... Oh, wrong button. <laughs> is to kill the nest. Sometimes the insects will get in the way, which is perfect for the monster. But if you can focus your fire on the nest itself, usually it goes down pretty quickly. Otherwise, the bugs can go down in like one or two hits, depending. Well, let's finish him off. No, don't spit out any more bugs. No, more bugs. Hey, can I can I aim at him, please? Thank you. No curing. Ah. The downside is because he's taking a lot of my kills, I'm not getting level ups as soon as I'd like, which really sucks. Because if I think if your uh, partner ends up taking the more kills than you do. Or finishing the kills that you start, you get like a, a certain amount of EXP less than you normally would. Like I think I was supposed to get five for that kill, and I didn't get any for that one. Thank you. 
See, you're telling me to defeat all the enemies, but you seem to get, have this all taken care of. In fact, why am I helping you with this quest? Why aren't you helping... No, even better, why aren't you going solo? <sighs> Never mind. I'm just gonna open this fence. I'm gonna destroy those boxes. Ranger Rat! How dare you interrupt me. Yet, I know what weapons do. Weapons have different attributes based on, like... How much damage they do to certain types. Like, the types I'm fighting now are all native types. And let's see here. Now I've got one handgun, but... See right there? Native, 0%. AB, 0. Machine, 0. Dark, 0. My weapon will do more damage depending on how much of a percentage... I didn't mean to heal. Depending on how much of a percentage I have for each type. If you're with your teammates, they'll watch your back. If you're alone, try to change the view often look around you. How about no? Because you're just going to wipe out everything before I get a chance to hit anything. That's not watching my back, Kuri. You are a terrible team player. You know what? How do you like them apples? There. Level up. Boom. S uh, suck it. There. Kill that bug. He's not worth anything. Use your almighty power against it. There you go. But you feel good about yourself now, don't you? Yeah, whatever. Just keep attacking. Got a good feeling. He's almost done. Just keep up the pressure. I'm gonna get a lot more experience than Kari here. Boom, boom. Oh, I killed it. Nice. And canes and sabers, which I don't need. Should be a few more enemies popping up, right? Anytime now? Woo, crap. I was honestly not expecting anyone to show up there. Oh, hey. Nice. <laughs> I got a shot before he killed him. What's wrong? Is it difficult to hit the enemies? Yes! You keep killing them! Alright, it's okay as long as that... As long as... I'm sorry, as long as I'm not a liability? Ah! You have no idea how much I want to blow up in Kirik's face right now. <laughs> he is... He's really testing my patience. As if I'm the liability, he's the one charging in, killing everything, giving me no chance to get battle experience. <sighs> you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Everything's fine. Kirik? Who's the liability now? Who's the... Who's the moron that got stuck in the door? Ah, pardon me for trying to be child friendly. Heh. <laughs> Die, Wolfie. Oh no, more Wolfies! It's okay if I kill these wolves. They're not friendly. They're not good puppies. There we go. Oh no, more. This is why I wish I had magic. Don't, don't howl. How about you go? Stay down! Nice! And... Boomas? No Booma? Huh, ah, guess no Booma. Alright then, let's open this gate. And smash, 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 smash. I smashed them with my gun. I smashed them at long range with my gun. I know how physics work. And monofluid, monofluid, Masetta. Alright, not bad. Not, not horrible, but not bad. And if we go down here... Rappies! Yes! Penguins! I think. Or... I can't remember if we called them... Pe oh! Hi! Thank you! Again! Let me get a shot! Kirik, this one's all you. Kirik, this one's all me, apparently. That's how you do. And charge hit. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with charge hit for now, because it seems to be it seems to be working. Unlike anything else I've tried. And pew! 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 Nice! Finished him. What? Here's a simple battle tip. I don't need battle tips. I need you to back off, okay? I cannot handle you right now. 
<sighs> you you really are worse than 3PO, aren't you? Okay. Let's continue smashing these boxes up here. Pew, pew, pew. Ooh, I hit that one. Nice. And Saber, Monomate, Vesetta. Don't need any of them. Yeah, let's just take a moment. Let, let's... Let's take in the scenery. Back in the day, this scenery blew me away for some reason. It was so green, so luscious. Yeah, the graphics weren't perfect, everything still looked a bit blocky. But I mean, it just looked so nice. It made me feel like I was on an, a completely different planet. And then the monsters appeared. Uh, look, at, I know how controllers work, Yuri. Don't break the fourth wall. You're not Deadpool enough to break the fourth wall. Nice color scheme, though. I think there should be another one to my left. Where are you? There you are. Oh, there's two. I can't believe I missed. There we go, Kiri. Just take a back seat. Sit down. Took care of him for you. How do you like that? Oh, no, Wolfie. And... Die, Wolfie! There we go. You know, maybe you should get a gun like me. It seems to be helping out pretty well. Who is it? Your mama. Let's collect the shiny thing. Let's ignore the helpless character. You can you can hear a growl? You can hear? Oh, I don't hear anything. Oh god, here they are! And... Oh, get, get over here. And can I shoot you? I think I shot him? I'm gonna go ahead and say I got the experience for that. Good job, me! I'm fantastic! Now, what about you, Ash? <sighs> Thank you! What? Zid? Now I know why you guys are here. He always treats me like a kid. I completed the quest. But then, they attacked me here. Monsters appeared and I dropped the disc. I couldn't do anything. And you still can't do anything. What about you, Kirik? I'll take this boy with- I'll take this boy with me! You deliver the disc to the client. Then we can finish the job. Timster, train yourself. Become much stronger to impress me. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where that came from. Man, what does it mean get for me to get stronger? He's the one who's been stealing my kills. Alright, so I just went ahead to the item shop and spent all of my money on antidotes and some on monofluids. Because if you look here, I've already done it. But you might see this little droid floating, floating to the upper right of me when I was in combat. It basically amplifies my power and all my other stats, but it needs to be fed every so often. And I'm working more on, I think, attack accuracy and uh, MST or Mystic Points, Mind, mind Points, whatever, whatever it translates to. So Antidotes and Monofluids seem to do the trick to balance those two attributes out pretty well. But like I said, I'm out of money. But if we talk to this guy... Basically, Kiri came by, dropped off the kid, dropped off the disc, took off, he thanks me, Ash is enduring, I can get my reward. And our reward is 500 Masetta. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, so I think that's going to wrap up this episode. It's going on a little bit longer than I intended. And at the same time, I kind of feel bad that we did the exact same quest as the joke episode. But I kind of want to take you through the forest, kind of show off just a little bit more. Show off the ranged character's abilities. Show my legitimate frustration with Kirik in the first quest. But mostly... I want to show you guys things from the beginning to the very end in terms of quests, story, and all that good stuff. So while we didn't really do a whole lot that you haven't already seen in this episode, the next one is going to be just a tad bit different, so hopefully you guys will like it well enough. So for right now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like on the video. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Otherwise. Thank you guys for watching. My name's Timster from Tim Foolery Gaming. 
and we'll see you guys later. Take care.